Hi, my name is Amaya Fox, and this past semester, I served as a California Campus Compact Youth Voice Youth Vote Fellow at the University of San Francisco. Through my fellowship, I was able to work with a lot of incredible people in order to register students to vote and make our campus more civically engaged. Along with the rest of our USF Votes team, we were able to reach the milestone of registering over 5,500 students this past semester. We did this through weekly tabling events, various voter registration drives, working to institutionalize voter registration, and collaborating with key university stakeholders and other organizations in order to build our coalition. I was also able to plan educational events for our campus. For example, working with the San Francisco Department of Elections to take us step-by-step -step through the ballot, organizing democratic debate watch parties, weekly census educational events and presentations, and weekly elections 101 pop-up tabling. Yet come March, we had to shift a lot of things due to the rise of COVID-19. Essentially, we had to go completely digital, relying on our social media pages heavily to keep our students informed, and Zoom to continue to conduct our planned events and discussions. This semester especially helped me learn a lot about myself and the issues that I care deeply about. Namely, with all that is going on, my passion for this kind of work never faltered. This fellowship has also helped me learn a lot more about voter suppression, an issue I've always been passionate about, but that we are seeing on clear display during this COVID-19 era. I've been able to connect with students across the country who are doing similar work to myself, and I've seen that for people in places like Wisconsin, voting in these primaries became a public health crisis. I saw historical forms of voter suppression exacerbated by this pandemic, and the hurdles that many people, especially student voters and marginalized communities, had already faced when it came to voting became more blatant. This has led me to think a lot about what I can do next. I love the work that I do as a fellow, yet I do graduate next year. So thinking about how I can continue this work is really important for me. Because of my experience in the California Campus Compact Youth Voice Youth Vote Student Fellowship Program, I want to continue to work and make sure everyone has the ability to exercise their constitutional right to vote. Whether that be working for a voting rights organization or going to graduate school, I have not yet decided yet. But what I do know is that our generation has the power to change this country and use our collective voice to influence the decisions that we are going to have to live with. We are the next generation of leaders, and the more communities of empowerment and engagement that we build, the better off the future of this country will be.